Christmas bonds have been a traditional holiday gift from some grandparents for many years, but tomorrow is the last day many banks will be selling them. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us now with a look at what one state lawmaker is doing in protest of the change. Kim. Michael, Senator Stephen Vita says since 1935, you have been able to go to the bank and buy a paper savings bond. But that is changing because the U.S. Treasury Department has decided to go paperless and sell bonds only at its website starting January 1st. He says he has been getting calls from seniors who want to be able to walk into a bank and buy a bond, walk out with it, just like they always have. State Senator Vita says he knows it is a federal decision, but that the state needs to speak out against the change. He has authored a resolution asking the Treasury to continue to sell the bonds at banks. I've talked to a number of people, particularly uh, those that may not have regular internet access, that they would be restricted from buying Treasury bonds for their children or their grandchildren um, because of this new uh, policy that the U.S. Treasury is implementing. I think it's a little backwards. Now, the Treasury Department says the switch to paperless savings bonds will save the department $120 million over the course of five years. This because it will no longer have to print, mail, or store the bonds. Live in the newsroom, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.